Good day, everyone. So here we have an idea. Let's see if we can bring this idea to life. Also, upon completion, I'll be giving this dagger away. So stay tuned to find out how you can win this dagger. Spoiler alert, you gotta subscribe, share, and comment to enter. So let's turn our drawing into a wood blank. So we've got our wood blank, put a real slight bevel on there. Seems like it'll fit the hand all right. So now let's cast it in metal. I've got a real live makeup brush now. Professional. So the sand mold is ready. Now I just need to find something to melt. Oh look, a five pound bar of copper. How convenient. I'll use that. Still have to try a diamond wheel sometime. Of a messy pour. Metal almost looked too cold. I'm hoping it turned out okay. We'll see. Turned out pretty nice. No flaws. So we'll clean it up, put in a bevel, put on a handle, and have a nice little dagger. So 
So while I was grinding, I took a closer look and I noticed it's really pretty wonky there. Kinda looks like a Dr. Seuss dagger. Let's try to straighten that out a bit. Am I allowed to reference Dr. Seuss? There once was a man with a crooked dagger. You can finish the rest. So I got it a little straighter, but I'm gonna take a break from grinding and start thinking about the handle. Now I could either do leather or I could do wood. I don't have any leather, but I got a block of oak. So I'm gonna make an oak handle. Now this piece of oak is too thick, so I'm gonna try to make it thinner without cutting my fingers off. No guarantees. So that didn't end up being too even. Making things even is hard. Do I use the thin piece or the thick piece? Since the handle's already pretty small, I think I'll use the thin piece. I can almost cry. As I was pulling the blade out, it grabbed and broke. I guess I'll use the thick piece. Thick piece will be better anyway. Okay, so these scales will work. Now I'm gonna drill the holes for the pins. I think two pins ought to do it. So now that the rough profiling of the handle is in, I'm gonna take the scales back off so I can get in and shape the front of the blade. So I'm debating whether I should work hard on the edge of the blade. I think I will. So as I work hardened it, now I'm noticing there's a slight warp in the blade. So I'm gonna grind it down, try to get that warp out. And it won't look like it's work hardened, but the molecular structure is still harder than it was, so. So the next problem, there's always a next problem. As I was sanding, I put too much pressure down on the tip and you can see it cracked. No good. The only way to fix it is to grind it down, make it a little bit shorter. So we lost an eighth of an inch, not the end of the world. It still looks all right. So it's hand sanded to a nice finish. We're gonna tape that so I don't scratch it and glue the handles on.
Bronze Dagger. Definitely not a master knife maker. It's not a complete work of precision, but it still looks kind of cool. Being that it's a double edge piece, I think symmetry is even more paramount than a single straight edge. So where there is imbalance, you can see it. But if it was a 1500s BC, you'd be happy to have this thing. So I'm gonna be giving this away to one of you guys if you just help my channel grow. All you gotta do, hit the like button, share the video on some social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you guys use. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Most important thing, comment. It can be any kind of comment. What should I name the knife? Tell me a joke, write me a poem. Tell me how my hair looks, where you're from. Just comment. I'm gonna take all the comments, write them down on a piece of paper, put them in a hat, pick one at random, and I think that's the most fair way to select a winner. And you can have this beautiful bronze dagger. Someday when I'm a big famous YouTuber, it'll be valuable. It's not valuable now. It's just kind of fun. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Come back for more projects, and I'll see you next time.